Resolve 14, scene exporting less for visual effects. Take one, marker. So I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to have a LUT created of the uh, roughly of what the color grade is going to look like so that when you're doing visual effects you can see the colors and levels and basically make sure that the visual effects are properly blended and composited into the image. Without that it's really hard to tell what your actually end product's going to get. You basically, you basically have to play a guessing game. If you are a colorist it's very likely that it, your visual effects artist is going to say hey I need a LUT that I can temporarily put into the visual effect footage just to see and make sure everything is compositing. So I'm going to show you how to super easily create that LUT and then show you how to put it in the After Effects for the visual effects and basically the whole process. So this is the look I've created. I've already kind of went in and did a bunch of things and all I have to do well, let's look at the before and after. Here you go. And the visual effect is he falls on the ground and he shoots a little bit before he gets shot in the head and he dies. So, all you have to do, super easy, is a right click and hit Generate 3D LUT Cube. There's also a Panasonic V LUT, which is basically for Panasonic Varicams, but for most instances, uh, this top one is going to be the way to go. Alright, now, so what, when you create a LUT, what is included and what is not? So anytime you do a universal change, such as a, you know, you know, your color wheels or a curves adjustment or anything like that, it will carry over into the LUT itself. So what will not carry over is going to be power windows and open effects. So if you use, you know, a, uh, the face refinement effect, that's not going to carry over, or like a glow effect won't carry over. Um, or if you're doing, you know, any power windows, so you have a vignette, you have, you know, you're tracking something in the shot, that's not going to carry over. It's only going to be the main, more universal look, which if you need a lot for visual effects or even to put in camera, that's really all you need. You don't need any of the secondaries anyways. So, we have our LUT, now we're going to go into After Effects and kind of show you how to, how to use that LUT for the visual effects. Alright, so now we're in After Effects and I have my clip in here, uncolor graded. And what I can do now is we'll add an adjustment layer. Click our comp, new adjustment layer, and then we can add the Lumetri color. Oh, there's other ways to add a LUT, but this is kind of the easiest way now. And you go into basic correction, in, input LUT, browse. They have other ones too, but to use the one we created, we'll select it right here. Hit open. And now you see our look is applied, and it looks oh so beautiful. So now how this helps is because I know the, the brightness, the shadows, and the color, when I import our, start putting in this muzzle flash that he's shooting, I can line it up and, so this is under, and as you can see it's way too saturated, so we're gonna, first off we're gonna do an overlay, don't want, this is not a visual effect tutorial, so I'm gonna do this kind of quick, ooh, not overlay, what am I thinking, screen, pardon me. And uh, it's also just kind of too bright, so we can color correct that, we'll tint it, we'll make that 80, no, 50, uh, 40, 40, that looks good. And then you want to, alright, you want to basically add a Gaussian blur. kind of blend it, maybe set that to 5. This is a um, from Video Copilot Action Essentials, by the way. That's an awesome uh, set of action-y type assets. So I said that's about 8, and, and then you would also want to do a layer, new adjustment layer, and basically you want to do the light reacting to the 
to the image because that's how you kind of sell it. You have a light coming here. If, if things aren't being lit up around it, then you're not really selling the effect. So do that, go to effect, go to color correction, curves uh, right here. I'll brighten that up a good bit. We'll mask that out. And I would do more detail on this, but hey, this is a tutorial. And you only want it on the frames that have the actual muzzle flash. So option open bracket, option close bracket. And then, uh, yeah, so by doing that, you can really see just how it's going to look in the actual end image versus if you didn't have that, you really, like, you just can't tell as much. And you're really playing a guessing game. You have no idea how it's going to look in the end. This is the way to do it. This is the proper workflow. Use LUTs when doing visual effects. That's how you export them out of Resolve. Crazy easy. Even if you don't have your end grade, just do something close, you know, so you have something to go off of. Hit that subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Until next time, thanks for watching.